Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now I know there's probably no more series of Vampire than Klaus in the entirety of the Vampire Diaries universe. Every time he walks into a room, everything and everyone just seems to stop, which is basically down to Klaus's unpredictability. Nobody ever seems to know what he's going to do, but it most likely ends with someone dying if Klaus doesn't get his way. That also seems to be the norm. Give Klaus what he wants or you get your heart ripped out. The issue with this ultimatum is Klaus couldn't exactly do it to everyone, in particular his siblings. Klaus daggered them a lot. It's almost like a running gag throughout the series that Klaus daggers at least one of his siblings every now and then and if you really piss him off, he won't remove that dagger for a very long time. Let's take a detailed look as to why Klaus kept daggering his siblings in the first place. Klaus stormed into the Vampire Diaries with an attitude and a statement. He made himself known. He followed through on everything he said and whoever crossed him ended up dead. However, he wasn't always like this. He was a kind-hearted, loving brother who constantly had his spirit broken by his father Michael, broken to the point of him developing such a hatred for his father that it turned Klaus into a hardened shell of his former self. Klaus held onto that, it truly did harden him. Despite the sibling commitment on the back of always and forever, he would tend to stick to the forever part in terms of the length he would punish any one of his siblings for, should they go against him. The werewolf side within him brought out his dominant personality and Klaus became somewhat the head of the family. He'd make decisions on what he thought was best and regularly went unopposed which was satisfactory for him. With that being said, when it came to his siblings doing things or making decisions that they wanted to do, if it didn't sit well with Klaus, he would simply deny them straight up. They would live his way or no way. For example, he was fiercely overprotective of Rebecca when it came to her choice in men, interfering in her relationship with Marcel and Stefan for example. When Klaus got his hands on the white oak ash daggers, he realised that his siblings could be placed into a desiccated state as long as the dagger remained in their bodies. He could neutralise them. It wasn't much longer before he realised that he could use these daggers as a threat should one or more of them disobey. For example, Klaus daggered Finn and left him in his coffin for 900 years claiming that Finn was nothing more than a psychophant and never truly thought for himself. Finn actually proved this was true. It really was true when he blindly followed his mother Esther's instructions with the intention to link every sibling together in order to kill them all and destroy the entire vampire race, Finn included. He agreed with his mother that he himself was an abomination to nature and needed to be destroyed. He was more trouble alive than he was with the dagger in him, so he remained in a desiccated state for close to 1000 years. Klaus did care about Finn, don't mistake that part, he carried him around for all that time. But anyway, let's move on and take a look at the other siblings. Let's bring up Cole. Now Cole did win a lot of people over during the original series, but man was he very hard to like during his appearances in the Vampire Diaries. He did display a lot of sociopathic tendencies, almost to the level of Klaus, with his threats and just blatant disregard for human life. Now something Cole, Klaus, Elijah, Rebecca and Finn all had in common was the fact that they were being haunted by Michael, who like his wife believed that the spell that made their children this way was a huge massive mistake and sought to destroy them all before destroying himself. After getting quite cosy in Spain, Cole felt that he was a lesser target than Klaus and he wanted to remain there much to Klaus's disagreement. Cole was happy with his life. Klaus's rule was that they always stick together. Cole didn't want to go, so guess what? He got daggered by Klaus with the assistance of Elijah. They popped him into a coffin and there he stayed. Elijah tended to agree with Klaus on a lot of things, they had a very tight relationship and Klaus did play on Elijah's passion for keeping the family together. Don't forget the 1821 Cole daggering, which came courtesy of Cole trying to sneak around Klaus's back and create a dagger to put the hybrid down himself. Klaus definitely couldn't have that. Still not learning his lesson after being undaggered for a second time, 
Cole went back down in 1914 after trying to go against his brother once again. Well, it didn't stop there for Klaus with this trigger happy daggering. Poor Rebecca is up next and man did she get daggered quite a lot. When she began a relationship with Klaus's protege Marcel Gerard, he was furious. Not because of their feelings for each other, but it meant that Rebecca would leave him and the family, which was something he could just not accept. She fell in love with Stefan during the 20s and despite Klaus appearing pleased, he compelled Stefan to forget he ever knew Rebecca or him, despite having a great friendship with Stefan, and then once again condemned his sister to the dagger and a coffin for over 90 years. Sometimes he didn't use the dagger on Rebecca though, like the time she fell for a meal. Klaus just decided to throw him to his death instead of using the dagger technique on Rebecca. Possibly a stark reminder for his sister not to cross him or interfere with what's best for the family. Elijah didn't escape Klaus's dagger, oh no sir he did not, not by a long shot. He was daggered by Klaus in order to keep Marcel from using him against him when in reality Klaus actually made a deal with Marcel to dagger Elijah and give him his body as a way of being allowed into his inner circle. That situation with Elijah just proves my point that despite his love for his siblings, Klaus will always look out for himself and the well-being of his current state before anything else. All of his siblings were daggered more than once except for Finn who, well, 900 years, what more can I say really? That's something I would definitely not like to experience but it's just a result of what happens when you cross Klaus. The constant daggering from Klaus for me just symbolises a spoiled child who acts out when he can't get his own way except his tantrum is aided by an incredibly powerful weapon that can secure him a result. Despite everything he'd done to his siblings, they still stuck by him and kind of accepted that he would have the final say over their lives. For starters, they had no way of stopping him and he had a solid way of silencing them until they came round to his idea or learned their lesson not to cross him. With that being said guys, I want to know what you all think in the comments section below. Is there any other additional reasons you'd like to provide as to why Klaus kept daggering his siblings? Please feel free to let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please hit that like button as it tells YouTube that my content is enjoyable. It tells them I'm doing something right, which helps the video grow. And if you want to join the Vampire Folklore YouTube family, then feel free to hit that subscribe button and make sure those notifications are turned on properly as YouTube likes to add 50 different levels of notifications. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your viewership and I will see you all very soon.